Welcome to AFD TV. I'm Dr. Sam here with Ashley, our new medical director of our AFD wellness clinics. Thanks for being here, Ashley. Thank you. So today we'll be discussing is coffee good for you? So Ashley, what do you think? I think coffee is great for you as long as you drink it in a moderate amount, which is anywhere from two to six cups today. Studies show that it can be very beneficial for you for your energy, as well as helping to keep your bowel movements regular. Um, it's great for students, um, great for when you first wake up in the morning to help get you going. It's great treatment for ADD to help you focus. Uh, gives you more energy. What do you think? <laughs> no, I think th those are all <laughs> wonderful points. Coffee and, and tea, they're both mm -hmm. natural. Everyone talks about wanting to be natural. Well, coffee and tea is natural. It's been around since the beginning of time. Uh, how we drink our coffee is also extremely important. If we have an extra super strength frappuccino <laughs> with every meal, well, we'd probably have energy and, you know, gain some weight. Mm -hmm. But if we're drinking more, you know, black coffee or green tea, it's full of antioxidants. Um, it does help with weight loss. Mm -hmm. It does convert our glycogen to glucose, which helps us energize us, have fuller days, mm -hmm. makes us less hungry. Uh, we're able to get by with grazing as opposed to having stop and have a huge meal, which would then, of course, make us want to take an afternoon siesta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, of course, been shown to help with concentration for uh, grades. It helps grades. I think the key with drinking coffee is if you, I personally drink black coffee, mm -hmm. but I water mine down with, with water. I use instant coffee, so that way I'm getting more of a steady state of coffee, not too much, and then crashing. So you kind of sip on it all day long? I do. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm able to drink coffee hot, cold, room temperature, you know, <laughs> I have a mug, whatever I'm not done with, I'll, I'll drink the next day. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's black coffee, it's acidic, so it's, it's safe, it's fine. Uh, as far as coffee affecting our sleep, before noon, I, I'm fine with drinking stronger coffee, but especially in the afternoon, I tend to water down my coffee a little bit more, so that way I can still drink it through six, seven, eight o'clock and still sleep just fine. Um, by having a f more fuller day, whether it's natural stimulants like exercise or coffee, mm -hmm. we're more exhausted, so yeah. we, sleep, we sleep better. Mm -hmm. do, do you drink much coffee? Not much. My husband's the coffee drinker. Um, uh -oh. I'm trying to get more into it. I've just started recently um, drinking black coffee, and it's been great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and there's even green coffee. There's all mm -hmm. sorts of different flavors. Uh, I, You know, I like... Uh, I don't drink it again too strong. Um, if it's at room temperature, it doesn't seem to discolor teeth. Mm -hmm. My wife is more of a tea drinker. Tea, although it's good, to me it's still a little bit on the weaker side. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> so, but the big thing on coffee and tea is to get rid of all those Diet Cokes and Cokes and soft drinks. A lot of people drink that for the, for the caffeine but those are not natural sources of caffeine. Yeah, and yeah. studies have shown that drinking Diet Cokes versus regular Cokes does not help you lose weight. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and our body doesn't know that Diet Coke has no calories. Right. <laughs> and the advantage of drinking coffee or tea that's unsweetened basically redevelops the part of our brain and our tongue to enjoy more bitter tasting foods, such as I personally can eat dark chocolate, but milk chocolate, I don't like anymore. Yeah, so. it's too sweet. Too yeah. sweet, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, yeah, so, uh, you know, we, I'm sure we could talk about it forever, but in the meantime, let's enjoy our coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and be sure to like us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up with all the news and services we're offering our patients. See you next time. The preceding advice provided in this video is informational and strictly the opinions of Dr. Sammy Drala and AFD Clinics. For a more accurate medical opinion of your personal health, please consult your primary care physician or visit one of AFD's clinics today.